Good evening, my cookie crumbs, and this is the second winner of the Christmas giveaway, Jessica Bakugo. I hope you enjoy your story, love. Here we go. Bakugo carried a sleepy toddler Izuku out into the kitchen where he placed him in his booster seat. He handed the toddler a plate of snacks and told him that dinner would be ready soon but he could have a few snacks while he waited. Izuku nodded and rubbed his eyes sleepily. Katsuki had adopted Izuku about two years ago, when he was one. Izuku was three now. His speech had gotten a lot better, which his speech was pretty broken by the time he got the toddler. He had to put him in speech therapy, and Izuku was still in therapy. But it was doing much better. The Baku Squad was coming over for their little annual Christmas Eve party. The house was ready, nice and decorated, and Kotsky left the fireplace unlit. Dunn's face, he rolled his eyes at, decided he wanted to play Santa Claus for Izuku. It was a sweet gesture. But he didn't know how Izuku was going to react. Izuku has seen Santa Claus in pictures, but never up close and personal. He didn't want to scare the poor kid. After all, it was his first Christmas in his new home. They had moved into a brand new house. For the first two years, they had lived in a small apartment, but since Dynamite really took off as a pro hero, he made enough money to afford a bigger, nicer house for them in the countryside. Izuku still had boundaries, of course, still not calling Katsuki dad or papa, but he'll take it. He heard his sweet little voice call to him, and Izuku asked if he could get down. He had finished his snack and wanted to play. Katsuki nodded happily, Knowing that Izuku had used his manners and used them well, he sat the toddler down onto his feet and the toddler took off. No running in the house, Izu. Sorry. Izuku then toddled into the living room and up to his toy chest. He got out his favorite dynamite figure and a few dinosaurs and began playing heroes. Izuku wants to be a hero just like Dynamite. Pew, pew, pew. Ah, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> What's going on in here, Bubba? The, the dinosaurs evolved and they came to destroy the city. I see. And Dynamite going to take care of them, right? Yes. Dynamite gonna take good care of them. Dynamite go whoosh and then boom. I see, Kotsky said, laughing internally at Izuku's kid logic. Well, make sure you tell Dynamite that the dinosaur's weakness is in the tail. Izuku whispered back. Of course. That's been it this whole time. Izuku huffed cutely. Katsuki shook his head with a smile. God, he loved his kid. Izuku went back to playing, and there was a knock at the door. The impromptu Baku squad was here. They came in, they sat down, and all of them enjoyed a meal until Denki excused himself. Izuku wondered where Pikachu went. Where him go? You mean where did he go? That. Hmm, he'll be back, bub. Don't worry. Why don't you go play with Mina? Yes, come here, my sweet little baby. Come play with Auntie Mina. 
Okay. Hi, Auntie Mina. Hi, sweetie pie. Can I have a hug? Yes. Izuku wasn't too touchy-feely. Katsuki had a sneaking suspicion that something went down in one of Izuku's previous homes. Katsuki had gotten Izuku at the tail end of him being one, and got him just as he was turning two. However, Izuku has had multiple homes before, and Izuku was kind of skittish, even as an infant, according to the social worker. Katsuki had wondered what had happened to him, but he wasn't going to force Izuku to do anything he didn't want to do. If Izuku had boundaries, he had boundaries. Who was he to deny him that? He would respect them, and so would his friends. He looked back, speaking of said friends, and watched as they played along with the sweet little boy. Mina had him on her feet, and she was dancing lightly with him. Izuku giggling madly as Hitoshi and Siro were recording the event. Then all of a sudden, Izuku startled as something came down the chimney and into the fireplace. Ho ho ho! It is I, Santa Claus! Pikachu! Pikachu? No, little boy, I'm Santa Claus! Mm, Pikachu funny, Izuku said with a giggle. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I have a present for you, young man. Come sit with me, if you please. Izuku nodded and sat by Denki. He opened his present, which was wrapped in newspaper, and squealed happily at the sight of a giant Pikachu Squishmallow that was twice this size. Izuku snuggled into it, and it smelled like strawberries. Denki had put some kind of a scent thingy into the Squishmallow and sewed it back up. Denki was surprisingly good at sewing. Izuku didn't even notice. Thank you, Pikachu. I love it. Oh, and I love you too, buddy. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> ho, ho, ho. I think you can can the act there, but how did you figure it out, Izu? Hair. Izuku pointed. Sure enough, Denki's signature blonde hair was sticking out of the hat. Izuku could see the black stripe. Ah, darn it, forgot to pull my hair back. Funny. I was funny? Yes. Funny. Oh, I'm glad I made you laugh, bud. The rest of the night went smoothly. Dessert and coffee was served, and Izuku was promptly put to bed. The others had left, and Kotsky went to go check on his toddler. He opened the door and saw Izuku sitting on the windowsill bench. He was about to scold the child and tell him to get back into bed when he heard, Christmas star, I have wish. I wish that me and my papa will never ever be alone, that he will always come home, and that he knows I love him very much. And Grandma and Grandpa. Night night. Izuku then climbed back into bed and snuggled into his dynamite plushie that had just came out. <sighs> he sighed in content and snuggled into his blankets and drifted off. Kotsky slowly closed the door and went to his own room. He sat on the bed and placed his hands in, inside of his... Ugh. He placed his face on his hands, trying very hard not to cry. His toddler, his child, his baby... 
Katsuki had second thoughts when he first adopted Izuku. That Izuku wasn't going to be happy with him. That he was going to be a terrible father. But he was wrong. Izuku had loved him. And loved him very much. Katsuki was not crying, curse you. Okay, he was. Yes, sap. Don't go mentioning it, alright? Cool. Christmas Day came, and it was very bright and very early. Izuku was not a morning person by any stretch of the word. Katsuki was, but not Izuku. He still got the boy up early and got him dressed. The grandparents came over, and Izuku opened his presents. Izuku talked adamantly as he was opening his presents, something that Katsuki was happy for. It was then Izuku decided to give Katsuki one of his greatest Christmas presents ever. First, Izuku ran up to his grandparents and gave them hugs and thanked them for their presence. His grandparents showered him in affection and, well, his mother started crying. Izuku was never really affectionate, but getting a hug from him meant the world to her. Izuku moved on to his papa, and that's when Katsuki broke down. Izuku startled at first and thought he did something wrong, but Katsuki held his little boy tight to his chest. Oh, Izuku, baby, I'll never be apart from you. I will always be with you, my little sunshine, my little starburst. Papa, I love you, Papa. Katsuki and his grandparents broke down. No, they were not crying. A fight? Fine, yes, they were crying. Jeez, what do you want from them? <laughs> they shared a good cry, and Izuku was placed into bed again that night. It was one of the best Christmases he had ever had, and he hoped that his papa would have many more with him. The day after Christmas, Katsuki was back to work and Izuku was being watched by his grandparents. Izuku was cheering his daddy on loudly in the living room as he saw him on the news. And Katsuki, in true form, broke the fourth wall and winked at his son, who he knew was watching. Izuku giggled and blew him a kiss. <laughs> It was a good, good Christmas, and many more were on the horizon for the Bakugo family. And Kotsky could not wait. He could not wait to watch his son grow and become his own hero. Things in his life were finally complete. Aww, so cute. And no, Bakugo was not crying, darn you. What are you talking about? He doesn't cry. What the heck do you mean he was crying? Yeah, he was crying. He was crying. Let let's, let's be real. He was sobbing. <laughs> All right. I actually enjoyed that fic. It was different. Wow. An adult Bakugo. An adult Kotsky Bakugo adopting a toddler. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed this one. I'm going to have to do more of these in the future. Oh, I liked it. It was great. It was a breath of fresh air. Anyways, guys, <laughs> I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for participating, Jessica. I hope you enjoyed your story. Much love to you. And I'll see you guys Christmas Day with my Christmas special. Bye-bye. Be safe.